Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading from now to the end of November. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now this reading is not a private reading, therefore it doesn't have your name on it. It may be yours or it may not be, okay? If it does have your name on it, let me know down below. Um, so yeah, this is the Vice Versa deck. I uh, There's stuff on both sides. There you are. Look at that. Anyway, um, I cut the deck. I cut the deck. This is the only deck I cut before I start the reading. For some reason, I feel like I need to do that, so I do. So anyway, I've cut the deck. We got the Seven of Wands. And it's like he, you, are trying to decide whether you want to battle or not. <laughs> That's a battlefield. It's a battlefield. Do I want to, do I want to do this again? Do I? Am I ready for another battle? Am I ready? So that may be your question. Your question may be, can I do this? Can I keep doing this? Or am I ready for the next battle? You know, am I ready? You're considering it at this point. There's been, um, you know, you have some opposition. And once you step down off that rock, it's like you're in the What's that field? The mining field where if you step in the wrong spot, you're in trouble. You know what I mean? I don't know what that field is called, but uh, there's explosives in there. Okay? So you're probably it's like, hmm, should I step should I step onto this this battleground or not? So you're you're trying you're contemplating right now. You are. You realize that you have some some opposition here. See all the them people probably laying down under that rock ready to shoot you you know what I mean so you probably realize that um, and you're like I'm still on top should I should I do this or not so th that's the question <sighs> king of cups so if you are male you you probably are opening your heart at this time your pro your heart is ready for something it's like you're wearing your heart on your sleeve at this point if you are the Scorpio male, you're probably have really good intentions for love. And love is at the forefront of your thoughts at this point. You may be thinking, you know, I just want love and I have love to offer. If you are a female, you may be dealing with a man that does have good intentions for you. It could be another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. So if you are a female and you're watching this, you probably may have a man that is you know, around or coming in or something, so a man in your life that does have good intentions. You know, he does. We're going to keep that because it didn't want to come up and it's a really good card. It's the Ace of Wands. It's a passionate new beginning. It's like the spark, the fire has been lit. All of a sudden you have this new beginning where it's like too good to be true. It's like all of a sudden... All of a sudden, you have this new uh, exciting opportunity that uh, puts ants in your pants. For lack of a better word, ants in your pants came to my mind. It's like, uh, you know, it's just very exciting. So there's an exciting new opportunity here for you, Scorpio. There absolutely is. And I think you're, you may be a little afraid of it because this might seem like it's too good to be true. All of a sudden, there's this new passionate beginning. Well, maybe it's a new sexual partner that has entered your life and you're worried. You're like, I'm not sure if I'm ready for this. I'm not ready. I'm not sure. We have the nine of pentacles. Yeah, it's like <laughs> this is the independent person. Are you ready for this? I mean, are you? You have been working on your self-worth, your self-esteem, um, your money, your abundance, uh, you're, you're glowing, you're doing quite well on your own. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to give up your independence again for real? Because now you have this opportunity. It's like, and, it's, and it came quick, so quick that you may be uncomfortable with it. It's like, boom. Boom. It's like, damn. Ten of Cups. Happiness. 
Wish fulfillment. No kidding. The Ten of Cups. Extreme bliss. You're receiving an offer of love or you're giving an offer of love that is going to basically complete you. It's like you complete me. Change of course. Ten of, that's the wheel of fortune. Look at, I got the goosebumps, the chills throughout. Again, this is crazy. Chills, I have the chills, okay. Change of course for the better. Good fortune, good luck, the Wheel of Fortune. I'm trying to hold back a sneeze. So if I sneeze, I do apologize. Um, so yeah, your life is about to change for the better. It's like whatever is happening is going to, to bring you something really, really, really good. Big time. It's, I mean, it's a completion of one cycle of your life. The storm is truly over. You can step into this battlefield by the looks of things. This is a destined change of course. This is destiny. But free will plays a part. And that's why this card is here. This is free will and destiny, the wheel of fortune. And that's why this first card is here. Take that step. Don't let fear hold you back. Fear of giving up your independence or fear of the last battle, you know. Because there's an opportunity for excitement, for growth, passion, adventure. This is a, an opportunity for extreme happiness. No kidding. So let me just bring this down. You're going to receive something, some sort of increase of abundance. Don't let your fears get in the way. Wish fulfillment, the star card. This is a blessing. It's like God, angels, spirits, the universe is bringing you a blessing. Don't be afraid. Look at this shit. I can't make this shit up. Universe. Major completion of one cycle. If you have been single, that's going to end. Because single, end. The end of independence. Not that you're going to give up your full independence, but you know what I mean. You're not going to be alone. There's a new partner here, a new sexual partner. That's what this is. That's what this is. Or there's a rekindling. Happily ever after. This could even lead to marriage. This could lead to marriage. This could lead to commitment. This is definitely, absolutely, positively something to celebrate. This could lead, definitely, I mean, engagement. Again, time is ripe. And this is, the time is ripe for you two to come together, whoever this is. It is absolutely divinely guided. And I don't even need the rest of the cards. Major, major, major. Okay? It's divinely guided. It's like... <laughs> You have the new beginning of a lifetime. It is absolutely something to celebrate. If you have not met this person yet, you can meet them at a gathering. Okay, because the Four of Wands can often be a gathering where, you know, there's a celebration of some sort where it could be a wedding, it could be an anniversary, it could be... Um, even a funeral. It could be anything. It could be whatever this is. It's a gathering. If you are single and you haven't met this person and you get invited to go some a, a Thanksgiving party where there's other people, any kind of gathering, 
You could meet you could meet this person and be a, there's an instant attraction, an instant spark. Instant. So whoever this is with, there's a there's a spark. And it's a it's brought to you from heaven above cuz this is this is it, heaven above. It is. The worst is over. The a 10 under a 10. The Ten of Cups with the Ten of Swords. The worst is over. You can only go up from here. This is a celebration as well. You're going to meet, if you haven't met this person already, you're going to meet them at a celebration of some sort. If you have, are with this person right now, there's a reason to celebrate. And this is, could be a proposal of some sort. Somebody could propose to you or you could propose to somebody. But this is a gift. It's a gift. And this is a gift as well. And this is a change of course. 10, 10, 10. Completion, completion, completion. You are about to start a whole new phase of life that leaves you flabbergasted. <laughs> because I'm flat. And this is the major completion of them all. It's the last card in the deck. Like I said, this is a brand new beginning where one phase of your life where you've been struggling, it is done. It is over. You aren't going back there. You're not. You have a major, major new beginning here in which you're headed towards a new destination that you've never, where you've never been before. It's a it's a it's a destined change of events in which your free will does play a part. Are you ready to accept this blessing? Are you ready to accept this gift? Are you ready to step into the battlefield? Because yeah, when you get into this kind of relationship, any relationship when it starts brand new, you are taking a risk. And that's what this is. You're gonna have to take a risk. Yeah, it could explode at any point effing time but it looks to me like this is going to be long term because the world card is something it's a long term phase it is definitely a blessing that could lead to a <laughs> long term commitment with a destined partner by the looks of things Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Don't let your past betrayals, people that have betrayed you and uh, left you for dead, stop you from stepping into the battlefield. Okay? Because I see that you are a little worried about it. You know, you may be wanting to protect yourself, you know, because you've been betrayed and hurt and cheated and whatever. Maybe you gave it all in the last one and you're afraid to give it all again. That phase ended so that you could have this extreme abundance and happiness. Let's get one of these. Scorpio. can't pretend and neither can you the door is opening and it's a beautiful door isn't it your hearts are going to get involved quick very quick somebody's going to open that that cage they have the key or you have the key The door to romance is opening for you at this time. So yeah, you guys have a major new beginning here with the, with the world card. One phase of your life. If you've been independent, it's over. It's over. You're not going to be. This could lead to marriage. 
If you are single and you are staying home, get your ass out there, go places, because you're going to meet this person at a gathering of some sort. Could happen at night, I don't know. Could happen during the day, though, as well, because this is daytime. Either, either way, it's going to lead to a lot of happiness. The sun is extreme happiness. It is, absolutely. Don't let your fears hold you back. Break Break the break the chains from the past. Cut those cords. Free yourself. Don't worry about... I mean, before this card is the Seven of Swords. Deception. Don't worry about being cheated. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about being deceived. Don't worry about being abused. Let that shit go. Because this change, of course, this gift is being given to you because... It's time for you to begin again. It is. Destiny. It's a, it's a reason to celebrate. Now, this person, if you haven't met them already, you may already know them because this is a reunion. Now, you can meet them at a reunion of some sort. Could be a family reunion. Could be... Um, a school reunion, I don't know, it could be anything, but this is some sort of, they're both celebration cards. And you may, the thing, when I say reunion, this doesn't mean that you slept with this person before, okay? This is somebody, I think it could be somebody that you knew, um, you may have been friends with them or acquaintances, and now is the destined time to come together. So yeah, you have a destined destined change, of course, that is it's beginning a new long term phase. It's the completion of loneliness. Scorpio. There's, there could even be a proposal. There could be a proposal. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. You may want to go on a retreat. Look at this. This looks like a wedding, doesn't it, to you? Like I said, a proposal. That's funny. Looks like a bride and groom to me. That's what it could lead to. Marriage. I know that it could. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Don't let your fears... Hold you back. You. It doesn't matter what sign it is. It really doesn't. It could be any sign. The door to romance is opening and you are being asked to walk through. Because this could lead to something very long term. The worst is over. You have a new partnership, a new exciting opportunity to grow and have a lot of passion with somebody that you could end up getting married to. Passion, marriage, marriage. I mean, come on now. What more can I say? I can't make this shit up. And it's after a difficult separation. It's after. This, is, this has already happened because we have these completions. Yeah, it's been difficult. It has. Don't let that hold you back from this divine connection because it's here and it's looking at you. Those negative thoughts are just thoughts. They're fears. Break those chains. Leave that shit behind. Leave it right there. Leave it right here. This is a gift from above. It's wish fulfillment. It's what you dream of. A wish is a, what is it? A wish is a wish your heart makes, something like that. We were talking about this the other day. It's a dream come true. So yeah, be prepared. If you haven't met this person already and you get invited to go to our gathering, go. Go.
Good luck.